I'm interested in looking at the role of religion in nation building in Nigeria, uh, particularly from the time of independence in 1960 to the contemporary period. It is my argument that religion has become so central to what is going on in contemporary Nigeria. And that even though it was assumed in the past that ethnicity was the main critical issue in nation building, we now know very uh, fully well that religion is the most important issue in nation building in contemporary Nigeria. Virtually every major decision taken by the government or by the state has religious ramifications. Uh, there are unexpected consequences of certain actions and attitudes and practices that happened, and they all tend to have predominantly religious premises and so on. Just as religion is capable of helping in building a nation in terms of its own practices and so on, it can also destroy a nation if not properly handled. So that sent me thinking about specifically the history of religions in Nigeria and the role that religion has always been playing. Today, Nigeria is faced with a series of problems. Perhaps the most is forms of religious violence often described as Boko Haram insurgency in the northern part of Nigeria. Boko Haram is uh, a kind of a fundamentalist uh, Islamic uh, group that has challenged the power of the state that in fact calls into question the very existence of Nigeria itself as a nation to such an extent that a larger part of the national budget is going into fighting Boko Haram insurgency in northern Nigeria. Uh, this has affected perhaps uh, everything going on in that country and unless it is stopped, Nigeria itself may cease to exist. Well, to solve this, this problem, I have proposed several recommendations. One, that we need to take seriously religion's literacy. And by that, I mean that Nigerian youth, and particularly those in uh, the primary schools and secondaries and universities, should be exposed to different forms of religious practices in Nigeria, not as believers as such, but to enable them to understand the basic tenets of those traditions so that they can learn how to live uh, together or to live in peace with members of other faith tradition. So religious literacy is quite, quite important in that context. The second recommendation I made is that we need to have a think tank that we focus on examining the problems that are coming up as a result of religious crisis in Nigeria, where scholars who are well versed in the study of religion can think about these issues and make recommendations to the state or to the government, particularly on those issues that relate to the separation of private and public in the study of religion. The third recommendation I made is that even though interfaith dialogue is very important and significant in Nigeria, interfaith dialogues are often sponsored by the state. And I think this is a bad idea. I would like to see more independent groups, NGOs established to respond to that by talking about how best religion can promote peace, but not those that are sponsored by the government. The fourth recommendation I made is that somehow we have to begin to look at what I have often referred to as Nigerian civil religion. That is, identifying myths, rituals, symbols that can bond the people together, that can function to integrate 
these very, very diverse ethnic and religious communities together. The ingredients are there. We uh, all need to see them, to identify them, and to promote those values and those practices.